Uh, well, here's another 20-year-old and his 18-year-old and 22-year-old sister all here this morning, very good morning, making music, Kitty, Daisy and Lewis and they started their music careers at a country gig in a pub near their home in North London and now they're supporting the likes of Mark Ronson and Coldplay on their US tours. Yes, the siblings have just released their new two-track single. They have an album coming out in June. Before we talk to them, let's get a taste. You might have guessed from the way you look. Yeah. Of the rockabilly thing that you sing. Let's have a look. Your dancing shoes. Get ready to rock to some heavyweight blues. Kitty, Daisy and Lewis. Hey! I'd love to get out there a bit more. Um, not for the fame or anything, but just to get people to hear our music, because I don't think a lot of people know about this kind of music. The most enjoyable thing is when you're all together, just playing because we're family we have some kind of connection it's hard to explain but something just like fits together it wouldn't be the same without all of us Now, people got a taste of it there, and I've already been told off Yeah, for Slap saying twists. rockabilly. Yeah, a lot of people find it easy to call us rockabilly, because I think they see like some quiffs and whatever, but we don't actually play rockabilly at all. Well, how would you describe your music? Uh, there's a lot of different things in there, like R&B, like country, ska. Jazz, blues. Gospel. And how would you describe rockabilly, and and why is that a mischaracterization of what you do? I think it's like um, it's kind of like a media thing. So people see like a certain image of like hair or whatever, and they go, "Oh, rockabilly," when they don't like. It's just it's just a bit of a misconception, you know. It's people a, people it, kind of make about something when they don't really yeah. understand what's about. It's just an easy kind of word to. To do, yeah. yeah. To pigeonhole. Okay, you know? so we won't we won't call you rockabilly <laughs> won't it ever, again. In, <laughs> yeah. ever again. It's an eclectic mix of styles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really interesting, and, and we saw a little bit of um, the documentary there, and if you watch a little bit more, you'll notice it's not just you. I mean, the fact that you three are singing and performing together is fantastic in itself, but you've got Dad involved, and you roped Mum in, and and you almost gave her an ultimatum, didn't you? Tell us about how mum and dad are involved in the band. Uh, well, basically, we didn't have a bass player, so, you know, we were just jamming and my mum was, you know, playing some bass and we were like, mum, we need you to come and join the band. She was like, oh, OK. But she didn't know how to play bass, did she? Not really. She knew how to pluck a yeah. few notes, but not really. And what's, dad, what's your dad's role? How does that work? Uh, rhythm guitar. Yeah, acoustic guitar. And is that where the influence has come from, for what, what you are now? Did you grow up listening to this kind of music? How, how did the, the whole thing come about? Yeah, like our dad used to sing to us when we were little kids, um, just on the guitar, just like songs that, you know, that we even started playing on stage before we'd actually heard the records. It was just hearing it from him singing it. So, yeah. are, they, are they big in music? I mean, do they do music themselves? Is that, is that where it's come from? Is it in your genes, your parents? Yeah, they're, they're uh, both fairly musical. My dad's a mastering engineer, so, um, yeah. My dad, like, came from a big family, so he was, like, always jamming with his brothers and sisters as yeah. well. Yeah. And so you were with more playing music than listening to records, you know? Yeah, and you record things at home, mm. to a degree. Explain how that works. You've got a little mini studio? Every, everything's done at home, yeah. So how does that work? What, have you got um, a shed or a well, studio? Has a microphone. It? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and tape machines and then... We record it. Yeah. But well, literally, you have kind of like yeah, yeah. reel-to-reel tape machines. Yeah. But you, okay. uh, you saying that like anybody would have the same thing. You've got stuff in that's come from decades ago, and you've ordered it in especially from the states, haven't you? It's uh, taken over your whole living room. Your recording yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we wanted to get like a, just like a nice, natural, warm sound, you know. So and 
with the computers these days, yeah, no chance. You know, it's just a kind of harsh digital sound. So. Yeah. Well, speaking of the sound, I think you've agreed to to play a little for us. Yeah. This morning so we live. Can hear. What what are we going to hear? We're going to play a song called "I'm Going Back," which is the double A side on our next single. Okay. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going back. I'm going back. Fantastic, thank you very much. And I was very mindful seeing the wide shot of, I mean, I know the music's the thing, but it's very, the style you have. I mean, you look fantastic. That, the suit and the, that look All of connected you. to I'm that fine. era. <laughs> you are fantastic. I mean, it's very much part of the, the music, isn't it? I'm assuming. Yeah, well, you get like your influences from like, you know, watching old footage and stuff of people playing music and. It, it doesn't sound like the natural uh, partner with Coldplay, but you've supported Coldplay, haven't you? So mm -hmm. how did that come about? Uh, uh, Chris Martin apparently was a fan of ours. And, uh, yes, yeah, so it was his idea, really, to get us on the tour with him. I'm told you are multi-talented instrument-wise. You can play different instruments. So who plays what? How does that work? Uh, we all kind of swap around, so we all play a bit of drums and, you know... Come on, they both play guitar. Yeah, <clears throat> brilliant. Well, it's fantastic to meet you, and thanks ever so much. Uh, and good luck with everything, as if you need it. Kitty Daisy yeah. and Lewis's second album, Smoking in Heaven, is out on Wednesday. The new two-track single, I'm So Sorry, and I'm Going Back, is now on iTunes and out on vinyl on the 25th of April. And we don't say that very often. Out on vinyl, you must bemoan the dying of vinyl because you like that raw sound, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's coming back. That's what everyone says. It's coming back. Uh. Dig out the record players. Here's Carol with a look at this morning's weather.